Hi kids, I hope you guys are having a good virtual Friday. Me and Miss Collins, Miss Collins, we are going to do a gnome that is for St. Patty's Day. So I think you guys will enjoy it and uh, I hope you guys have fun with us. And on Monday, tell us if you know how to spell gnome because I spelled it wrong. She spelled it right. Just let us know, okay? Here we go. We are going to do it. Let's get started. So, I'm gonna start with a pencil and then I'm going to uh, continue with the marker. So that means I can't mess up. But um, you guys, it's hard for you guys to see with the pencil. But the first thing you're gonna do is go to the middle of the paper and you're going to draw your cute little nose. And if you want a big nose, you draw yourself a big nose. Mrs. Collins doesn't, uh, I don't know if you guys know this about her, but she's actually a really, really good artist. And uh, she's keeping that a secret from you guys. So the next thing we are going to do is we are gonna go on each side of our, um, of our gnome. And uh, we're just going to come out like this and just get ready for our beard, okay? because then we're going to go right underneath it and we're going to draw our shamrock so we know how big we wanna make our beard, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is a shamrock looks like a heart. So we're gonna do a heart at the top, okay? And on each side of it, we are gonna draw a heart. And it's actually easier if you start with that part first so you can make it uh, even. And I did mess up on one of mine and I don't like it. So I am going, actually there's no mess ups in art, but I'm just going to touch mine up a little bit. I'm gonna come out like this. And then if you want to, I'm gonna bring mine out a little bit more. So. It is three hearts, but there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. And uh, then you're going to draw a little stem. And I actually want mine to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna bring mine out like this. And if you, uh, if you want yours a little bigger, you can also do that too. But it happens. Sometimes like you see a part that you wanna fix and uh, you fix it because there's no mess ups in art, but you can fix stuff whenever you feel like you want to, okay? So now we're gonna put his cute little hands. So we're gonna take his hands right here and you're just gonna draw little circles right here and then erase the pencil mark. And that's where you're putting, well, that's where I'm putting my hands, but um, you can uh, you can put your hands wherever you would please. And I don't want all my uh, pencil marks everywhere, so we are going to do that. All right, now the next part we are going to finish his cute beard. Are you ready? Okay, so we're gonna come down here, and you guys can make it as big as you want. So let's just have some fun. You and then you're gonna shape his beard all the way down to the end of your paper. All the way down to the end of the paper. And whenever we get to coloring it, it's a lot of fun because um, it's really, there's like lots of cool ways that you can do his cool little beard. So, yes, yes, yes. We are doing great. And then I still want to fix my uh, shamrock a little bit. See, even art teachers sometimes want to fix things. So if you guys are in a place where you want to fix your shamrock, go for it. Because now I just kind of made my 3D. All right, so now we're gonna put his cute little shoes down here. And so, However you drew his beard is, like if you made his beard point down at the bottom, that's fine. But uh, I'm going to draw, I'm gonna go like this, do two little angles at the bottom 
of uh, gonna go like that, and then I'm gonna put little humps on the end of his shoe. And I grew mine kind of big, but uh, you guys can do whatever you guys want to. And then I'll come through and make mine a little bigger later. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't do it wrong to show you guys how. And so, but now, there's my little shoes. Lots of erasing going on right now. Sometimes you just gotta erase stuff. Okay, now, what goes next on our little gnome? Hey, we are popular. Like, we get lots of phone calls, so you guys just get ready for it, okay? Miss Collins, how you doing over here? I'm doing Ooh, good. I look think at I her. got it. Hey, she's rocking out. Hers looks so good. It, uh, she actually, she does a really good job, y'all. I don't even think you guys know. She's got big feet. Um, mine, uh, mine has big feet too. And then at the end, I always go and like change the shape. It's kind of funny. So now we are going to come up with this hat and I'm going to go like this. And then I like this part right here. It's going to come up like this, and then I'm going to go like this. And I actually want to see if I could do a little shape of a shamrock. And uh, if you guys want to, you guys can just put a circle right here. Actually, I'm just gonna do a circle because I don't wanna confuse you guys. So we'll just do a circle. Circle it is, super fun circle. And I left like this little spot like this because I like to have uh, some movement in my hat and so that's why I did that. I hope I'm not moving it too much for you, Miss Collins. Yeah, you now we have a cute shamrock, a cute gnome, and we got a couple things missing and so if there's anything on your gnome that you want to fix up right now, we are about to finish them up so you guys can fix whatever you guys want to. And now we're gonna give him a pot of gold. So right here, it's just gonna, we're just gonna draw a little line because it's gonna be the ground that uh, he's on. And then we are going to draw a pot of gold. So, if you guys know what a pot of gold looks like, there is going to be, I'm gonna draw a flat line right here, and then you're going to round it, draw a line across, so it's kind of, looks like, um, kind of looks like a backboard of a bed to me for some reason right now. And then you're gonna come out and do that right there. And now I can erase this line right here because uh, that's gonna be black. And now we're just gonna draw circles on it. So we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna go, we're gonna draw circles all the way across. And then we're gonna go on top of it and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep on doing it. And in the middle, you're gonna draw some, and then you're going to start rounding it just a little bit. So if you want to, you can draw a circle up here at the top and round it. And then you're just gonna draw a few in the middle where it's rounded. So, on this cute little hat, you can do whatever decorations you want on it. Um, I think, uh, what do you wanna do? Are we gonna do stripes or polka dots? I like stripes. Okay, we are going to do stripes. So, we are this way or this way? 
diagonal or straight across? Let's go straight across. Okay, we're gonna do straight across stripes. So, first thing we're gonna do, so it's gonna go straight across or go like this? Let's do a rounded. Okay, That's we're gonna cute. round the stripes, okay? And you're just gonna keep rounding them until you get to the top. And you can make it as far apart as you want. So now we have our hat done. And doesn't he look so cool? Oh my gosh, I think it looks awesome. In the background, we are going to do polka dots of different colors of the rainbow. So how many colors is in the rainbow? Do you guys know? Six colors. So I'm gonna draw six circles and some of them are not gonna be full circles and uh, they do not have to be. But this is how we are going to make the colors of the rainbow. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I actually like hers because she did hers a little bit smaller. And so every one of these colors is gonna be a different color of the rainbow. So are you guys ready to outline it? Let's go, here we go. We're gonna outline our cool, awesome gnome. And then if you guys are doing the gnome and you guys uh, enjoyed it and have fun, I would love you to bring it in on Monday and show, oh no, not Monday, I, I'm sorry, Tuesday, and show Miss Collins and I your gnome. I would love that. I think it would be cool. Just shows me that uh, you're doing art at home and not uh, on your tablet. But I guess you kind of are on the computer watching this, but there's a difference. So we're gonna keep outlining it. And then you guys can color yours however you guys want to, but we're gonna go ahead and color ours. And then you guys get to decide what you want yours to look like. And it's gonna be lots of fun. So here we go. Now, right now, we are outlining ours with a black Sharpie. If there is anything on yours that you feel like you don't like or you need to fix, I would do it before you outline it because it uh, you can't fix it after you do it with Sharpie. And so there was uh, just a couple things that I wanted to fix on mine. It was, I'm just gonna make my beard just a little thicker, because I like to, I like a, a fat beard. <laughs> and so I'm making mine just a little bigger, and then I can show you how I made mine bigger. So I am just bringing mine out like this. So there's my beard and you guys can see Miss Collins in the background doing hers. So I'm just gonna go erase my other lines really fast because I, uh, I wanted my beard to be a little thicker. And that's why I actually do this, um, like I show my mistakes on my video because I want you guys to see that uh, nothing's not ever perfect. Like. People make mistakes and have to fix things, and I want you to see that um, it's okay. And uh, just fix it, and then keep on trucking. And you guys will have a really cute picture that you can give somebody or hang up and uh, have something to feel good about, okay? So that's what I love about art. It gives you a voice, and it's fun. But now we're gonna keep outlining it and keep on going. All right, now I'm gonna outline my shamrock. Here we go. Kinda nervous about my shamrock. And as you can tell, I, uh, didn't outline everything that uh, I usually did. And now we're gonna outline his cute little hands. Oh yeah. 
Almost done. This is super fun. Got the shoes. Now we're ready to color. Are you guys ready to color? It's gonna be lots of fun. I didn't do my stripes on my hat. I forgot. Silly Miss Amanda. Okay, you guys ready? Now, whatever lines that you have left, erase them, and then we're gonna get to coloring. Mrs. Collins is using colored pencils and I am using markers so that you can use whatever you want. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is our shamrock and it's going to be green. And it's going to be lots, super cool. I have um, these new markers I'm trying out. And so I'm trying to see what color I want to use. And uh, it's kind of hard to decide what the color is. So here we go. Oh man, these markers are cool. And if you guys don't want to sit here and watch us color it the whole time, you guys can fast forward. But uh, I'm going to keep it rolling while we color and show you guys what we're doing. My marker makes a really, really weird noise. That's, it's kind of weird. All right, marker. Okay. Okay, now we're going to paint, uh, paint, color the, um... Let's see, gray. We're gonna go ahead and do the beard gray, if you guys want to. And then if you guys, if you're using color pencils or markers and uh, paint, you can go around it. But uh, on here, um, if you want, say, some details in your beards, you'll have to, uh, not to color it. So as you can see, I'm leaving like a few white spots in my beard and then I might go over it with like a darker color or I might even just leave it white because I think it looks super cool. Now, I tell you guys this all the time, but uh, a lot of people color one direction and you know, it does look really nice, but if you just don't know how to color one direction and uh, get discouraged because you can't, color all different directions. I, I show you that in all my videos because I don't want you to get discouraged because you can't color in one direction like your friend or your older sibling or mom. So just color how you can and it will turn out just as cool, okay? So, just gonna keep on coloring. Almost done. And I'm coloring in different directions to show you that uh, it looks just as cold colored in different directions. All coloring looks cool, I think. Some look abstract, some look smooth and pretty. Mrs. Collins stuff always looks smooth and pretty and that's why I like whenever she does stuff too because our stuff always looks so different. And so that's what uh, um, I think is like super cool. I'm trying to get it to where you can see both. Okay, now let's go ahead and color our uh, pot black really fast. So. We can get that out of the way. And if you want to uh, give your gnome um, a little square on his shoes, it'll make him look kind of like a pilgrim, and that's fun too. But we're gonna go ahead and color our pot black, and I'm just using my Sharpie. And then what color is gold? You know what color gold is, Miss Collins? Yellow or orange would work. There you go. Yellow or orange, both of those colors um, could be a really good gold. 
and uh, like I've seen it different. I've seen yellow done. I've seen orange. I've seen mustard. I've seen a uh, a tan used, and they all work. So if you don't have the tan or a gold, then use yellow and use orange. Either one looks just fine. I am coloring on my table, and so I'm gonna have to get a magic eraser after this. So that actually reminds me, if you are coloring at home, make sure to have something underneath your family's table, whoever you live with, so I don't get in trouble for saying, Miss Amanda said to do it. Yeah, put a piece of paper under it wherever you're at so you don't uh, color all over the table because I'm gonna have to get a magic eraser after mine whenever I get done. And they really are magic because they clean up very well. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my gold up here and color part of his little hat. And I think that'll be fun. And then I'm going, I'm probably gonna color like just this little spot right here of his shoes that color. And then I'm gonna color it another different color. So, just going across some of my uh, beard with different colors. So, it has a little, some definition in it and some detail. Okay, so now let's find our peach and color his cute little nose and hands. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Got a cute little nose right there. Got some cute little peach hands right there. It's looking really good, huh? If I don't say so myself, I think it does. Very, very, very much so. Okie dokie, so now I am going to take a darker color and just go around my shamrock, and uh, if you are using crayons or color pencils, you do not have to do this. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit more detail on my shamrock. And then I'm gonna take this dark color up here, and you guys don't have to use these colors, and then I'm going to go do it on my part of my stripes. But you could use the green that you used on your shamrock, to do some of the stripes on your hat and then yellow, and that would be cool. Or you could do um, color, start doing some of the colors of the rainbow. That would be cool. It is up to you what color you wanna do. This is just the color that I'm doing. And then I think I'm gonna be that person and I'm gonna color my shoes the same color, the green. Yes, bravo. He's got really big shoes on, so they're gonna, they're gonna go all the way up. Really, really big shoes on. Okie dokie, so the next part, we are going to do the colors of the rainbow. So what's one of the colors of the rainbow? Red. You are rocking it, Miss Collins. She's rocking it, y'all. This is fun. It really is. Yeah, I think it's therapeutic to get to do some art sometimes. I'm sorry if I'm shaking. Alrighty, I did some red, red, red. Gonna do a little bit of this gray right here. So that's why these new markers that I'm using, they are uh, kind of a new uh, uh, thing out. They're called alcohol markers and uh, a clear comes with it where you can blend. And I think it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna blend them on here. But see, it's like going over it and I think it looks really, really cool. I think it's fun. Super, super fun. 
And we're gonna go like this and color this part. And it does like a little different color in it. Some of these markers, like, I don't know if it's because they're cold or what, but they do make uh, kind of a silly, silly sound. So I'm sorry if it uh, is annoying. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do another color of the rainbow, yellow. I skipped orange, so we've gotta go back and do orange. Most definitely. Okay, and so I am going to put yellow stripes on my hat. Miss Collins is doing two greens, and I think that's super cool. Super, super cool. And I am going to do different colors of yellow. Ooh. So here's a different color. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty cool. And then one more color of yellow we've got to find. And let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, yeah. Super fun indeed. All right, now we're gonna go back to my orange circle. And, uh, ooh, I cannot find my orange. Let's see here. So these colors, they're really cool, but um, it's kind of hard to uh, tell what colors are sometimes. And uh, I might have to find me just a orange marker because I cannot find my orange. So we're just gonna go to blue right now and do my blue. This one right here kind of looks orange, doesn't it? It so does. I think that's what we're just gonna do is do that one as my orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one orange. Okay, so now we've got, what's our next color that we need? Green. We've been using green, so we know exactly where our green is, right? What a pretty rainbow. And then what's our last color? Um, let's see. Use purple. I have not. Purple it is. How fun, this is fun. Lots of fun. Yes it is. And so my last thing I asked you guys to do is sign it. Oh, she did her three or four leaf, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, so the very last thing I always ask you guys to do is sign it so you guys know you did it. Now here we go, here's Mine, and there's Miss Collins. Okay, so I hope you guys have fun doing this like we did. Have a good day. See ya.